Today we're going to do a pick a pile reading for advice in the current situation that you are dealing with. So think of a situation that you're currently going through that you may need advice. So what I'm going to do is just create three piles and then choose a pile that you are most drawn to. And you can pause the video if you want to really meditate on these cards and see what your intuition tells you. So if you picked pile one, your advice is going to be seven of swords, three of wands, three cups, and five of cups. You may be dealing with some type of betrayal or someone being sneaky, but your advice is not to keep looking at this disappointment because there's things that you don't see that will bring joy and happiness for you. So the Five of Cups is all about past disappointments. And what she's doing is she's staring at the, the spilled cups instead of the two cups behind her that are still up. So maybe you're focusing too much on this disappointment that you're experiencing. And what you don't see is that there is a coming together with friends. There's a reason to celebrate that's coming in. It's right on the horizon. What can you tell me about the Three of Cups? Queen of Pentacles, more stability. You're going to feel more grounded with this opportunity or celebration that's coming in. This could also just be implying to spend more time with friends and family. What can you tell me about the Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords? You may have felt stuck in a situation, whether mentally or physically. Um, Yeah, and you've been feeling the Nine of Wands energy, which is feeling tired and and just exhausted from this Seven of Swords person or situation. You have to let it go, right? Move, you have to move beyond the Five of Cups energy. You have to move past that dwelling on the disappointments, turning your perspective. Changing your perspective of the situation, maybe um, there's some type of urgency to change the way that you're looking at your life in order to change it. So that is your advice if you chose pile one. Pile two, five of swords, king of cups, five of pentacles, queen of swords, okay. Could involve water sign, air sign possibly. There is a sense of feeling out in the cold. Um, this could be somebody that made you just feel terrible, sad, unloved. Five of Swords can be a self-sabotaging energy. It can also be an energy of somebody who always has to be right. They will fight you. 
until they're blue in the face to prove that they're right, even if they're technically not. What can you tell me about the Five of Pentacles? Page of Wands, Page of Swords, Four of Swords. Communication, Four of Swords, Healing. Page, pages are also energy of new energy. It's the beginning of a stage. So because of this, this painful situation that you're going through, it is opening up some new energy for you and healing. Four of Swords can be a very healing energy. What can you tell me about the Five of Swords, Three of Pentacles? Oh, maybe it was a third party situation. But it feels like you're supposed to experience this. It's part of your destiny. Could be, could definitely be a lesson that you need to learn because the hermit sometimes for me is, it's a message from spirit now, third party doesn't have to necessarily mean a diff another person. Third party can be anything outside of a connection. It can be work, it can be hobbies, it can be friends, it can be behaviors, whatever it may be. But for whatever reason, you're supposed to meet this person and have this connection with them and go through this pain in order to learn some type of life lesson. So I think it's your responsibility at this time to really acknowledge that and really focus on taking care of yourself and focus on trying new things and healing. Um, yeah, so that is your advice if you chose pile two. Pile three, wow, there's a lot of sad energy. Everyone must be going through something right now. King of Swords, Nine of Swords, Two of Cups, Three of Swords. So obviously, you know, we have stress, anxiety, pain between a love connection. Could be a partnership, doesn't have to be love, but there is a lot of love within this connection. Um, somebody could be coming off kind of cold. They're not really sharing their feelings. What can you tell me about the Nine of Swords? Decision, Emperor, Six of Pentacles. Wondering yeah, there's a lot of confusion on which direction to go. On whether to give this connection more effort. Um, Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, Death. So they, they stop giving, basically, to the connection. Two of Cups. I would walk away from the connection. From everything that I'm seeing, it, it seems like the main focus here is you have to make a decision on which direction to go. And ultimately, I think the best decision is to eat of cups, is walk away. If it's not emotionally fulfilling you anymore, it's time to let it go. Because it looks like this person is changing their perspective of maybe the relationship or just they're changing as a person 
becoming more defensive maybe. But we have the death card and eight of cups here, which really makes me feel like maybe this connection is time. It's time to move forward from this connection. So if that's something that you've been wondering, that is your advice. So I hope this brought some clarity for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you.